Hello everyone, welcome to our online environmental classes. In this session, we are going to solve some numericals which are based on solar energy. So let's read the question. This question was asked in UGC NET 2016. A solar pond based electricity generation plant has efficiency of 5% and power output of 500 megawatt. If the solar insulation is 1000 watt per meter square, what is the area of solar pond? So this particular type of question is one of the simplest question that can be asked in any exam. The formula which we are going to use is efficiency equals power output. I am writing PO divided by power input. What was the power output when the power input was this much into 100. Now this can be written in other forms also like for power output I can write voltage into current. This can be my power output and power input can also be written as solar insulation. I am writing SI into area, area of my solar pond. Like in this particular question solar insulation is given an area we have to find out. Now while using this formula some students get confused because percent is given here. So what do they do? They write 5 percent like this and then they remove the percent sign from here and add 100 here. At the same time what do they do? They add 100 on the right hand side also and this will be wrong because for efficiency you have already written 100 in the denominator on the left hand side. So now there is no need to write this 100 on the right hand side. This point we have to keep in mind. Another point which you have to keep in mind is unit. While solving the numericals we need to focus on the units. So let's begin this question. Efficiency is given as 5%. Power output is given as 500 megawatt. Now here megawatt is given so I am going to convert it into watt. 1 kilowatt equals 10 to the power 3 watt. 1 megawatt equals 10 to the power 3 kilowatt. So 1 megawatt will be equal to 10 to the power 6 watt. So here my power output will be 500 megawatt I can write 10 to the power 6 watt. For power input I can write solar insulation into my area. Here my solar insulation is 100 watt per meter square and my area I am assuming A capital A. Now here in the solar insulation I can see my unit it is meter square. So whatever answer I get for area that will be in meter square. Let's put all these values in the formula. So on the left hand side my efficiency is 5%. I am removing the percent and adding 100 in the denominator equals power output which is 500 into 10 to the power 6 watt divided by solar insulation it is 1000 watt per meter square into my area I am writing capital A. Simplify this equation using cross multiplication so my area would be 500 into 10 to the power 6 into 100. This 100 will go in the numerator here and in the denominator I already had 1000 watt per meter square into this 5 from the left hand side will go in the denominator on the right hand side. So here I can cancel 5 from 5 and these 3 zeros from the denominator will cancel 3 zeros in the numerator. So my area would be 10 to the power 7 meter square. This is the area I am getting in meter square. But if I look at the options, there is no value in the meter square. Every value is in the kilometer square. So what I am going to do, I am going to convert this value into kilometer square. 1000 meter equals 1 kilometer. So I can write 1 meter equals 10 to the power minus 3 kilometer. So it will be 10 to the power 7. For meter square I am writing 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilometer square. Now what will be my answer? 10 to the power 1 means 10 
kilometer square so option number 2 will be my right option if you have doubt in this particular question do let me know in the comment box